Welcome back to Trucking the Old Dominion with Velox 18. What is going on? We are in Virginia. We're just outside Richmond, Virginia. That's right, the former capital of the Confederacy. Yep, that's that city. It's weird that they had capitals so close, right? Back in the Civil War, 90 miles apart. Washington, D.C., Richmond, Virginia. Weird. I don't know. I don't really get it. But anyway, uh, all right, so we're going to get, uh, we're actually just east of Richmond. We're going to go and uh, skirt around Richmond, go north, skirt around Washington, D.C., and continue going north until we get to Jessup, Maryland. We've got a delivery to make tonight. We've got to get the rest of this catfish off the truck. I hear that they have parking overnight. So I'm hoping, because I have a 1 a.m. appointment, so I'm gonna try and get there a few hours early, see if I can get some shut-eye, uh, maybe sleep the rest of the night after they unload me, and then uh, we'll go pick up our next load tomorrow morning. So I think this is gonna be a two-parter, or a, you know, a two-day video. I don't think there's any much we're gonna do today except for driving around. We got three and a half hours to drive, and that's just because there's accidents and traffic. Normally it'd be about two and a half hours to drive, but uh, we're gonna go and get on our way, and. Uh, and we're just gonna squish tomorrow's footage in with this one. So, might be a long video. Usually when I do that, it's super long. But uh, hey, in order to keep it a little bit shorter, we're gonna roll the music now. So we're gonna get on our way. Uh, really, um, not too much happening today. Did you guys see my uh, my shirt I got from Walmart the other day? Normally I do black or white shirts, but uh, uh, my wife always tells me that uh, she likes me wearing green. She said it brings out my eyes. But uh, yeah, so I just, I kind of just, uh, the, the white shirts were either too thick, like the really thick Wrangler or Carhartt ones or whatever. Uh, and then the, uh, and, or they were way too thin and you know, everyone can see my chichis. So I decided to go with a, uh, a colored shirt and black, I just, I have too many black shirts already and I don't like to wear them in the summertime. That's just, they, they get hot. So I decided to go with the olive green. So, uh, Jessica, I hope you like it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Man, that squeak, squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeak over. The hood squeaks back with a vengeance because it rained yesterday. Uh, the, the hood skins are still on there, but some I don't know what it is. It's, it doesn't have a hole in it or anything. It's just kind of worn out. I wonder if it's the guides down below. Maybe that's what it is. Because those guides are a little, it might be a little out of, out of, out of shape. It might cause more friction down there. I don't know. Anyway, all right, we're gonna get on another road. Um, I think I want to do some. Uh, I want to do some filming around uh, around Washington D.C. because that's fun, you know. That's fun stuff. I've never been there before. Um, what was that? I don't know what that was. Did you guys hear that noise? says no parking well maybe it was something falling over in here sometimes something falling over in here freaks me out <laughs> you don't you don't want to know what it was <laughs> my, my pee bottle just I mean it has a lid on it that's why I use it but it tipped over in the back I guess it wasn't uh, secured in the I hide it in the closet that way no one sees it if they come in my truck or anything and it uh, I don't think it was in all the way so it fell out when I took that turn it sounded like I don't know. It's a pretty full pee ball, all right? So it made a loud noise. All right. Um, we're going to get down the road. Like I said, we'll get over. And uh, I want to film in Washington because I've never been through D.C. Um, I'm still not sure. I'm going to wait and see, make a decision on if I'm going to take the beltway around or if I'm going to go through kind of the heart of it. It's Sunday afternoon, so you know what? I, I, it may not be a bad day to kind of go through and see what it's like uh, through the heart of, of D.C. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if trucks are allowed, actually, but I'll follow the signs and we'll figure it out. I put it in the trucker GPS and they just automatically route you to the to the, uh, the bypass, you know, the beltway. So uh, hopefully uh, there will be signs posted and I'll just follow signs and leave it at that. I bet, I bet you're supposed to take the beltway no matter what. 
But we'll figure it out. All right, catch up with you guys when we get over there. All right, we are coming into Washington. And uh, you guys see that Lincoln Memorial over there? That's pretty cool. Pretty stinking cool, man. That's awesome. I've never been here, so I'm just soaking it all in, soaking it all in. do anything crazy besides slam on my brakes did you guys see that <laughs> all right i was reading the sign and i'm like oh they're like fully stopping all right here we go if any of you were uh were watching that you just Put your foot onto the onto the floor, didn't you? Put your foot onto the floor to try and stop yourself. Let's see. Ah, oh, you know what? It's telling me to do some weird stuff. Yeah, I gotta hop off and check this. Uh, oh, I see the Capitol building to my left. That's cool. You guys can't see it. But. Cool. I, I wanted to come through the, the center of Washington since it's later at night. Uh, even though the best way to get to Baltimore is to take the Beltway. I just wanted to kind of come through this way and see what I could uh, see what I could see. Looks like all the fun stuff is past us anyway, so I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, uh, we got over here to this fish market. Man, you would not believe the smell here. It is something. Maybe it's because I'm standing right next to this drain with like fish gut water going in there. I think that's all it is, fish gut water. Uh, but anyway, we backed up to a dock, but we're not docked in yet. Um, they said uh, hang out until midnight. I got a 1 a.m. appointment, so they said the, the night crew comes in at midnight, and that's when you can go check in. So um, this guy backed in next to me, and he backed all the way up against the dock. So I wonder if it's one of those places where they open up your doors from, uh, from inside the... Um, uh, got some reggaeton going on in that car. Yeah, everyone's showing up to work right now, I think. So I think these are the guys that are going to end up unloading me right around midnight. But uh, anyway, it's it. I got here at like 10:15, and now uh, we'll just hang out for an hour and 45 minutes, and then we'll get this thing uh, offloaded, and then I think I'll just tuck over into the corner somewhere here and sleep. I think that's the plan. So let's see how long this takes. Hopefully, not too long. All right, uh, we got the catfish off the truck finally. 
Uh, and then I pulled over here kind of to the back. There's just like a little area. They're actually doing some serious construction uh, back over there. Um, but there's like a little a little lot, a little yard right here. And um, I'm just going to call it a night right here until someone wakes me up <laughs> and tells me I can't be here. Because I read on the reviews, someone said, yeah, and you can park there overnight as long as you have a load going in or a load going out. So I'm like, well, I had a load coming in, so I think I'm just going to call it a night right here. Just tell them I'm out of hours and, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to take a spot and then wait until someone kicks me out. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but uh, this feels like one of those situations where you, uh, you ask for uh, forgiveness. You don't ask for permission. All right, I jumped in here in the sleeper, and um, well, some of you guys have been asking me how I stay cool on the uh, long summer nights because I don't have an APU, an auxiliary power unit. That's what most people have. It runs their air conditioner um, and uh, heater and that kind of stuff. Well, I don't have one of those. Um, I have this little coffin sleeper. It's black. It heats up pretty good, um, but. What I've been doing is doing what I'm doing right now. I'll idle for about five minutes, cool the whole truck down, and then I just close everything up and turn on that little fan right there. It's a little like tornado fan, and it it's pretty loud, kind of annoying because it's kind of high pitched. You guys want to hear it? So it's kind of annoying, but it moves the air pretty good, and so I can fall asleep. And then once I fall asleep, I just end up waking up kind of sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> TMI TMI um, so anyway uh, that's what I've been doing but tonight I'm gonna set up I've been I've been a while back I was sent a, a unit from Zero Breeze they sent me their Mark II air conditioning unit and um, I had trouble with it it blew a fuse on my cigarette lighter because I was trying to power it through the cigarette lighter which is a bad idea it works as long as the trucks running but hello you the whole point of using that is so I don't have to idle the truck um, so I tried just plugging it in, into my inverter, which is plugged into my cigarette lighter, same problem. Not enough power. Uh, once the truck is off, it doesn't have enough power to run it. So I was like, man, I really need like a dedicated battery or something to do with this. Well, they sent me a lithium ion battery. Now, that battery only lasts three hours if I'm pumping it at high, you know, the highest setting, which is obviously where I like to have it because I want to be cold. But, um, I'm going to try to do a workaround tonight and put it on the nighttime mode where it's actually. It uses less power and it's not going to be as as cold in here but if i start out like i am now with everything cold and cooled down i think it'll maintain the temperature pretty well since it's such a small sleeper um i'm i'm thinking you know it doesn't have that much space to to keep cool um and then i'll point the vent directly at me so anyway i'll get it set up and then i'll show you guys what i'm talking about and uh, we'll see how well this thing works we'll do a little review of this uh, uh zero breeze mark ii air conditioning let's uh, let's get let's get it going all right, just hiding underneath the bed here is the unit, Ooh. and then I've got to get, I'm not going to get the power supply, but I do need these hoses. All right, so there it is. There's the Zero Breeze. It's the Mark II, and um, it's got the air inlet and air exhaust on this side and this is your AC vent I'm gonna put hoses on all of those and then I've just got the drain hose to hook up because it's actually got a real AC compressor in there so it's gonna have some uh, some drainage so that's uh, we're gonna get it set up all right here's the secret weapon this is the battery <clears throat> that should power us for most of the night and uh, you can even charge your devices and stuff right there so this is what I um, I had actually I, I, I recharged this thing right here in the truck it has uh, a port there for their power cable and I plugged it into the cigarette lighter 12 volt and um, got it all charged up and uh, tonight I'm gonna see how long it keeps me cool on the night mode and I think uh, I think it's gonna work good so th that's this is the this is the battery. This just attaches to the bottom. Well, I'll show you in a second. All right, so here's my little setup, and uh, I'm gonna duct uh, those the inlet and the outlet out the window, and I'm gonna push this one 
uh, just under my curtain and up to my face and uh, yeah should be um, should be pretty simple I think here I'll uh, I'll show you guys once I get it set up all right so here we go we got it set up we got those going out the window I put the visor over I hung my uh, my whatchamacallit up there my safety vest they have a little foam insert that you can cut to fit that with and it actually has the holes in it for the hoses but I was having a hard time getting it to fit and, and figuring out how to cut it um, so I figured you know just do some redneck ingenuity with this one uh, the main thing is you want to get that exhaust out you got to get the exhaust out and uh, and I'm really not trying to cool the cab up here anyway I'm really trying to cool back here behind the behind the holy of holies here behind the, the, the curtain so uh, I'm gonna take this and um, bend it down bring it underneath my curtain and then try to bring it back up as much as I can and uh, have some cool air blowing on me so I'm gonna I gotta turn the power on on the um, battery all right now we got the battery hooked up the red lights on let's see if we can turn that blue light on let's see we don't want it on the rocket that's what I was on last time when we put it on nighttime mode that blue light came on yeah, this is really quiet we already got some uh, some cool air blowing out of here oh that's still even even on nighttime mode there's a decent amount of air Good morning everybody it is 8 a.m. we still got cold air coming in we still got cold air coming in dude this worked so good last night so uh, I'm sure that six and a half hours straight right so far of uh, cool air um, I don't have a thermometer to test how cool this is but I would say this is 60 60 degrees at least it's it's a nice cool I mean legitimately cool air um, coming in I'm stoked on this this works so good um, I wish I had like a little bit of a less janky way of, of setting up the the window over there but I mean this was as far as like just not having an APU and being able to get some sleep. This was amazing. All right, we are on our way out of here right now, uh, out of this little fish market area, and um, we are uh, we we had a uh, we had a good night's sleep, man. Thanks to uh, zero breeze. So. Uh, yeah, actually, so I'm gonna have a link to uh, to the Zero Breeze website, and um, and you guys uh, you guys can put in. Um, uh, I think I'll have a code as well. The one she gave me was um, ZBYTB. So I don't know if that's the one, but uh, that'll still work. But uh, that's the one that that they uh, that they gave me originally, ZBYTV. So that's your uh, discount code to get 50 bucks off. So um, anyway, if you're interested interested in one of these, if you don't have a APU on your truck and you're thinking about ways that you can do it, I know some guys use lawnmower engines and all kinds of other crazy stuff. Uh, this one is a uh, is a uh, well built. You know, perfect little machine for uh, for use, and then because it's battery powered, you can do you can use it uh, uh, camping or any other places too. Out uh, in the summertime, uh, you know, when I was going to make the video, she was uh, she was a little worried about you know if I was going to be trying to cool down a hot truck on the hot summer day. 
and she said it wouldn't wouldn't quite keep up with you know like daytime weather and I said no it's it's mainly so I can sleep I, I need I need it at night and she goes oh okay yeah it'll work <laughs> and it did man it did once I figured out that battery thing and if I can find a way to for the power supply to not be just the battery but um, like right now I have the battery charging right behind me for tonight so uh, but if I could figure out a way for that to, to work better um, uh, like get a power source directly to the battery um, or something along those lines where um, where I can generate enough enough power to uh, to get it going without using the battery then I mean that, that would be ideal but um, as it is I mean if the battery's gonna last over six and a half hours uh, that's usually as long as I'm trying to sleep for um, so anyway uh, yeah we're just gonna head over here and get get a, uh, a trailer washout there's a trailer washout just down the road and well my trailer smells like catfish so I'd like to get it washed out <laughs> Got over here to the uh, trailer washout. He's inside of there getting it all washed out already. And uh, it's gonna be quick. And um, hopefully the trailer won't smell like uh, catfish anymore. <laughs> all right, we got that thing washed out and now we're on our way to Winchester, Virginia. So we're just gonna head, uh, uh, well, we're gonna, it, yeah, we're gonna go around Baltimore so we're gonna go kind of like north and west, and then we're gonna go uh, and uh, head um, west and south, and then so it's kind of a kind of a funny uh, route we're gonna take today, but we're gonna get on our way. Let's go. Side of the road I was driving by and I saw this place called TJ's Pit Stop and I was like dude I gotta check this out I think I'm gonna get a country fried steak let's do this all right dude that was so bomb oh my goodness you guys have to try this it's on highway 340 in uh, Charlestown West Virginia uh, I walked in and uh, immediately there's just there's trucking uh, logos and like door stickers and magnets that's the decorations inside. It's just all the different trucking companies it's covering the walls. I mean, it's, it's a truck stop, man. It's a, it's a trucker's diner. It's not a truck stop. It's a trucker's diner. Uh, they got room to park over here. One of the local drivers said, if you come over here at night, this place is full up uh, with guys sleeping. Um, but right now, there's you know it's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, and there's no one around here. And uh, so then the food came out. Food was hot and delicious. I got the country fried steak, and uh, man, it was a good one. It was really good. Uh, perfect portion. It was big, but not like not like uh, I'm gonna need to go into a food coma after it or anything like that. So anyway, I'm like I'm stoked on this place. Uh, you guys need to stop here. You need to stop here if you're ever in, in this area. Uh, it's right here, like West Virginia, between Maryland and Virginia. It's like one of the little narrow spots of West Virginia. So uh, anyway, all right, I'm gonna keep on getting down the road and we're gonna go hit up our pickup and uh, hopefully get loaded early. All right, we uh, pulling in here to this HP hood facility. Let's see, I believe trucks go left. Let's see. Tanker trucks go straight, all others go left. Live reefers pre-cooled to 35. All right. All right, we'll get checked in and uh, see how long this takes. All right, we got in the door. 
We're getting loaded up. I just got an alert on my phone that uh, we've got a uh, severe thunderstorm warning. So, 60 mile an hour wind gusts and rain. Look at the difference. <laughs> All right, should be fun. Is pretty much passed and uh, we got ourselves uh, loaded it is um, shoot it's 3 30 a little after 3 30 and we're just getting out of here and we got about seven and a half hours of driving to do so we got to get on it man we got to get on it so we will uh, get over here get checked out get our paperwork put our seal on and uh, hit the road Jack get down to South Carolina we're gonna go down to Greenville, South Carolina. So maybe we'll see just trucking. Who knows? Uh, all I know is we gotta we gotta book it. We gotta go. Well, second storm of the day. This one is while we're driving. We're uh, not quite to Roanoke, Virginia. So we're not quite. Uh, yeah. This Everyone's slowing down. It's a, it's a decent downpour right here. We're going pretty slow. It's all good. I was in the middle of passing when we hit the rain, so I kind of just got stuck out here in the left lane. But it's, uh, it's definitely a... Uh, a little downpour. More fun, more fun. This is these summer storms are weird, man. It's it's gonna take me a few a few summers to get used to this. All right, I made it down here into South Carolina. Uh, we got a little ways left to go. I've been. I've been uh, running from this storm. It's headed southeast. I was headed like due south. And then uh, now I'm kind of headed more southwest. And so it's headed southeast and we're kind of on a collision course. So you can see the flashes up in the sky. The clouds are lighting up every few seconds. Every, I mean, uh, the, main, the main lightning energy seems to be on my right side now. So I can't show you guys, but it is, uh, it's going off, man. It's going off. There's some up ahead of me, but over on my right, it's like the clouds are just lighting up every second or two. Just boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Just lightning claps everywhere. Everywhere. But anyway, uh, we should be there. Uh, we should be there uh, uh, fairly soon. And we'll... Uh, try and find some parking at one of the truck stops we'll hopefully we'll hopefully we'll have some uh some le luck with that because uh it's gonna be a, uh, about 10 15 10 30 something like that when we get there so we'll see if there's any parking all right this is uh where we're gonna call it a night we're in gaffney south carolina and uh we got a reserve parking spot, I had to pay for it this time, don't have enough points for it, but there's no other parking and I needed to park quickly because we're using a sleeper berth split in order to get there tomorrow. So I'm gonna only take seven hours off and then we're gonna hop in the truck, maybe like eight, maybe closer to eight. Uh, and then we're gonna boogie on the, the last hour that we have. It's less than an hour, but right about an hour I'm giving myself to get there in the morning and uh, we'll go and make this delivery. And then we got hundred miles to Deadhead down into Georgia to go make our next pickup tomorrow. So. Uh, that's what's in store for tomorrow's video, but for now we're gonna cut this one off 
We ran into three different storms today. We had a fun day. Uh, I even, I changed into my boots. Did you guys see that? It was that, I don't know. I don't know if it got on the camera or not, but uh, yeah, I'm doing the shorts with boots style. That's like, that's where we're at today. So I started the day in my vans and then it rained too much. So I had to change into the boots. But uh, anyway, all right. Love you guys. Peace out. See you on the next load.